about Nitra at Six Flags for Adventure. So, first thing to note is, this coaster gets very high ranked in the Gold Medeco Awards, right? Yeah. Got, it's consistently in the top ten steel coasters, right? Yeah, I got ranked number five, right? Yeah, I think this the most recent year is ranked fifth, and the year before I know it was top ten. I forgot where it was, but... Yeah, maybe it was fifth again, or maybe ten down. Sure, oh. It's definitely one of the Best. higher ranked roller coasters. Yep, for sure. And I, I agree with them, they actually. Place that on my number four spot. But, yeah, I haven't even rode in a certain Giga that I don't need to mention. But, for now, it's at my number four spot. Of the ones I read in. It's incredible, isn't it? It's a really, really good coaster. I know. I didn't like, like it as much as you, but with that said, it's a great coaster. I know. It's just incredible. Air time's just super good. Yep. The intensity is good. Yep. Smoothness, pretty much glossy smooth. Yeah. It's just... Smooth. What do you think of I, comparison to Behemoth? I huh? still like Behemoth better myself. I think the airtime is much better on Behemoth. I think I like the first drop, even though it's not as tall. I like Behemoth's drop better. And I think Behemoth <coughs> might be a little touch smoother. They're both amazing rides. I mean, I, I think Nitro definitely wins to me. For that, they've got a lot of their drops have like the twist turns on them. Too. Yeah, they're not just straight I up think, and down drops. So I think I got a hate behemoth, on you for that. Yeah, Behemoth gets a little boring because it is just a straight out. You do that hammerhead turn, you come back. Whereas Nitro has a little more personality, a little more different stuff going on. Yeah, that isn't necessarily why I like Nitro better than Behemoth. It's sort of like I just like everything better a little like. I like the intensity a little better. I like the air tie a little, a little better. Smoothness is the same, though. Just, they're both over a lake. And, again, Nitro has that unique thing. Yeah. I can't argue with people that love Nitro. I just, personally, I think Behemoth's a little bit better. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, I get I, the track layout is really unique on Nitro. Yeah, I got a big to differ with that, but that's just his opinion. Yep, that's why everybody has different opinions on it. But I don't think anybody can ride, get off that coaster and not agree. It's amazing. It's a great yeah. ride. Yeah. No matter but, what you and think. And some people neither have. Neither one of them, I mean, if you compare Behemoth and Nitro, neither one of them have theming. No. I mean, the theming's not why you're riding these rides. Definitely are. not. It's not. Not even close to Disney level. They literally just smack the logo on yeah. the front side, and that's all. And same with the with You don't really get anything on that. Yeah. Um, the cars are pretty much identical, right? Yeah, except for the Nitro, Nitro. has four across. Nitro has the a four across, like the Leviathan style. Yeah, before, Behemoth has the regular two cross. The two in the center right. and then two out on the side. And also, some people haven't even ridden Behemoth. Yeah, a lot of people haven't. A lot of people yeah, haven't Nitro. Again, I, just, I personally like Behemoth. You like Nitro? Yeah. I think they're both amazing coasters, though. I don't have any doubt about that. the time of year. Maybe when I go back in the summer, I won't like it as much because we go one in the winter, you know? Be. I don't know. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know. It's an amazing coaster. There's no doubt. I mean, it's got yeah. everything you're looking for. I yeah, mean, it's got airtime, intensity, smoothness. Speed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they got last... There's like a last hill right before you hit the uh, brake run. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> that Because uh, it kind of comes out of nowhere and tricks you. Because there's a little bunch, series of bunny hills. And a few of them are kind of just like, eh, those are kind of, like, eh. And then that last one really gets you. <laughs> like, it's like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> meh. And then, wow. Yeah. It's like that, kind of. All around, I'd definitely give it a 10. There's no oh, doubt about that. Oh, obviously a 10. Definitely it's my a fourth 10. favorite coaster I've been on, besides two gigas and a certain coaster that I don't need to mention that's super intense. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Overall, I definitely give it a 10. Yep. I think uh, probably be the be end up being the best coaster there, but. Yeah, I don't know we'll about. We've got to see. we got to do Al Toro still, yeah. so. 
<laughs> yeah. See how good that yeah. is. Right? Yeah. Bye. Thank you for watching. Maybe it's time. I don't know what you think of Dr. Grill. I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.